Hey guys, it's Casey with DigiDoc and I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown on how to use your XTG. This button right here with the little dot in the circle is your on button and this is the off button. To turn it on, you do have to hold it for a couple seconds. It's not gonna turn on if you just tap it, but if you hold it for just a couple seconds, it'll turn on and there you go. Next, I'll show you how to change and set your preset options. So this little S button right here will go between the different preset options. If you want to change it, you just press down and hold the S. It's gonna have this little icon flash down here on the bottom. And then you can use your up or down arrows to save whatever setting you want. Then hold down the S again. It'll say ready and you're ready to go. When you're using sensors for an adult patient, we do recommend starting at about 0.28. And if you need to go up from there, you can. Um, for pedo patients, you can go lower than that. Some people choose to just leave it on one setting for everyone and that's fine. It's kind of up to you. But how I set my presets is I start with lower ones down here and then gradually get higher. So you'll see I have 0 0.2, 0 0.28, 0 0.3, 0 0.35, 0 0.4, and then all the way down here at the bottom is a lower one, 0.15. So um, it's up to you how you set it up. Some people do it like that. Um, some people do set it depending on the icon and the teeth that they're taking pictures of. But really, these icons are just going to change um, your exposure time. So it's easiest to me to just have some low ones and some high ones, and then you know where they are. When you're taking your x-rays, I recommend wearing it um, like a crossbody purse or like a guitar and having it sling down to your right hip. So that way you can place your sensor and then grab this to the right, take your x-ray, drop it back down to your hip. That way the x-ray isn't running into the patient if it were to be like in front of you or um, it's not in your way. You can use both of your hands and then you can grab to the right, take your image and then drop it back down. To expose your x-ray, your exposure button is gonna be right here at your pointer finger. You're going to click once to unlock it and then click and hold through those beeps and those beeps um, mean that it's exposing and then afterwards you're done. So again, that's click, release, click and hold. Don't let go until you've heard all of the beeps and then I'll show you what it looks like on the screen. It'll say ready when it's ready. You click release, nothing really happens on the screen. You click and hold and then ready will pop back up when it's ready to go uh, for another x-ray. There we go. When you take an x-ray, you do wanna stay as close to directly behind this shield as you can. This shield is gonna be protecting you if you stand directly behind it from getting backscatter radiation. Um, if that means you have to have your patient move their heads um, or face you or turn towards you to make it safe for you, then that's okay. Um, we just want the operator to stay as safe as possible. Lastly, we do recommend um, wiping this down with your dirty gloves right after you take your x-rays. So take your x-rays, then grab your cavi wipes or whatever you use, wipe it down, and then take your gloves off and remove off your body. This is gonna avoid cross-contamination of not grabbing the strap and um, it'll just be cleaner. If you do have any questions, don't hesitate to call me or our tech support team, and we will be happy to help you.